from the coffee cup in Summit, South Dakota. Welcome to Brad Miller time! Hi. It's cast Brad Miller time. It's 4.22 in the morning and we're somewhere in between Aberdeen and Fargo. We're not really sure. Somewhere in South Dakota. Yeah, Apple, hey Joe. Apple iMaps isn't working too well, it just shows a big big green field, which pretty much is where we are anyway. We're gonna walk around though. Uh, one of the fan buses... Let's explain the situation. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Our bus, we had to pull off the interstate because all the interstates closed down because there's a lot of snow outside which normally happens here, so it's probably not that surprising, but we just happened to pull in the same gas station as a fan bus, so we're gonna go around, ask some people how they enjoyed the weekend and uh, what their plans are for our, our layover here in wherever we are. This, uh, what's your names? Andy. Eric. Will. All right, thanks for being on the show, guys. Thank you. Um, basically, uh, how was your weekend? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. It was a blast. Solid weekend. Yeah, you, uh, you guys looking to get home anytime soon? Looking to, but it doesn't look like we're gonna. Have you heard anything uh, on the situation? How long it's gonna take? Highways closed for at least 12 hours. So we're, we're stranded here for 12 hours? <laughs> at least. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Connor Broughton. Connor, what brings you here? Um, well, I was coming back from Omaha, and we uh, kind of got stranded in the blizzard. How was uh, how's the attitude on the bus so far? Um. It's pretty calm, I guess. I don't know. We're all just kind of chilling out in this gas station here, waiting for her to get back to Grand Forks. All right, what's your name? Taylor. Taylor. I'm Emily. Mackenzie. I'm Tate. Tate. <laughs> uh, how was you guys' weekend? It was good. Had a lot of fun in Omaha. Yeah. Got to see two wins. Nice work, guys. Nice win. Good. Um, How'd you end up here? Well, I came with the fan bus and then we ended up getting stuck, so we'll be here for a while. Chizik, Chiz, what's the what's the mentality here at the gas station? Well, it was a tough road trip home. The snow got the best of us there, but uh, just trying to pick up the spirits here in the gas station. A lot of a lot of UND fans in here having a great old time, just uh, making the most of a bad situation. I'm here with Shelly. Shelly, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here? We just um, work graveyard, the third shift for all the people that come in from, on the trucks and the, all you school kids that come in and that go to the games at night. Just keep the place open for you. Have you seen this many school kids at 4.30 in the morning? I haven't seen this many school kids, but I've seen way more people here where they were sleeping in the showers, sitting on the stools, sleeping, sitting in the lottery room, sleeping, sitting on chairs, which now we just, you know, we're trying to build on and make it bigger. Right now we only have six chairs for you all to share. Is this your guys' first time in Summit? Uh, yeah, if that's where we are, then yeah. You're from here? An hour away from here is my home. I just want to go to bed. Do any of you know where we are at all? Summit, South Dakota. <laughs> So, also okay. Well, that's progress. We're at the summit. It's not a Thomas. Uh, or a Thomas. It's four in the morning. <laughs> uh, yeah, my my phone said summit, but I just thought we were like like the summit of the snow snow pile. But here with fellow goaltender Zane Kid Goth Gothberg. Zane, it's early. We're probably tired, all of us. You're hungry. Oh, I'm really hungry. Really hungry. Yeah. What's uh, what's your role here at the gas station? What, what are you providing? What do you bring to the table? Well, I consider myself a low skill level guy, so just to uh, pick up the spirits of everyone and uh, make everyone sure they're having a fun time, bouncing around off the walls, just making sure everyone's got a smile on their face, doing uh, outrageous things. Energy guy, they, they might call me. Does this amount of people, especially students, kind of make you nervous at this time of the night? No, I think it's kind of fun. You it kind of makes our night, I, our night go fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of livens up the atmosphere, eh? Yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> well, Shell, thanks for being on the show. Spectacular weekend this weekend. Uh, how was the the outdoor experience for you? Uh, very outdoorish. Is like I felt I became one with nature. Like you could just swim in that lake that was out there. Lake Omaha. Yeah, Lake Omaha. They, that's what they called it, right? At uh, um, Ameritrade Wildlife Preservation. You know, in the stands, 
I was there, uh, but you gave a lot of energy. It was cold up there, it was raining. How was your first experience watching an outdoor hockey game? Yeah, there was a lot of people there, so you know, you're always bumping into people and uh, it hurts. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was icing my body after that. There's a lot of people in the concourse running into me and I don't know, man. It was, it was scary at some points, but it was just overall an experience I'll never forget. Here with a uh, 20-year-old, that is weird to say. That is so weird to say. 20-year-old Dylan Simpson, he turned 20 about five hours ago. How does it feel? Uh, feels great uh, being stuck here with you guys in the middle of nowhere in a gas station is a great way to spend my birthday. I mean, is this the way you imagined 20? Yeah, just everything's coming together and you know, people here, there's good vibe going on for, what is it, 4 a.m. right now, 5 a.m.? Yeah, I mean, the snow's bad outside, but hey, everyone's happy in here, so. And I don't say to you, happy birthday, dear Simpson. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. All right, we're uh, here with Casey Joe. Casey just had a good tweet to uh, to Tate, and uh, we'll let her explain what it was. If I do a snow angel, can I be on Brad Miller time? Totally kidding, but I guess we're serious. Yeah, but apparently it got real, so we're gonna follow her outside, and she's gonna do a snow angel for us. All right, here she goes. She's in the snow. It's thick snow. It's What's it's pretty cold. There. Yeah. It's really, really cold. Dive, <laughs> dive in and do it. Oh, she's just gonna, she's gonna, gonna, she's gonna do it. Yeah. There it is. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> there. Wow. Here's Brent Chizik. Brent Chizik. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Wow. Thanks a lot, Casey. <laughs> well, I think this uh, caps off a pretty interesting uh, ride home uh, from Omaha. Uh, caps off a pretty successful trip, I would say. Um, if we don't make it back, it was very awesome knowing all of you. We love you. Thank you for all the support. Um, remember me. <laughs> Some guy just dumped coffee on mats. <laughs> but that's okay. Spirits are high here in Summit, South Dakota. From, bad, <laughs> from Brad Miller time, signing out. This is Tate Maris. And I'm Brent O'Donnell. You stay classy. San South Dakota. In South Dakota. Sim Summit. <laughs>